What the heck is this big <laughs> polystyrene? My scarf feeding was being watched, so we are going to head back and we'll come up to the coat. Yeah, we drove up here today, we didn't cycle, but we'll uh, cycle up here next time. You are here. So, do we go up to the... Go up here, I guess? Sounds like a train. What the train was. Train sound. It's all dried out. Go down to the water. It's a bit overgrown. Apparently, there's a viewing platform. Oh, there's this big. But I'm an egg. Some sort of float. What the heck is that? What the heck is this big <laughs> polystyrene float? I'm an egg. Right, this is getting a bit soggy. It's like concrete on the outside and a big that's just floated here and yeah. Anyway. So yeah, look at that. There's a big boat over there. Huge boat. And that looks out onto the goon docks, I call it. Isn't that amazing? Right, someone's left their coat over there because it's probably quite soggy down there. I don't want to get stuck in the mud. So uh, we'll go back up here and try and find this viewing platform. Try not to slip up. Narrow. I'll keep going. I think there's only one way in or out of here. It's trouble when you're filming, you've got to keep going. <laughs> I must go on. I think we found the viewing platform. I'm oh, covered in cobwebs. Go 
that goes on forever. Yeah, once we've been here once we won't come again. Once we put it on film. There's some sort of uh, path down there, but we're not going down there, some block. We'll keep going up here. Someone's uh, drilling or cutting something over there. Right, this is very steep. There's no guide rail. I think we must need to be the at the end. Oh, someone's put a swing there. Oh, there's no viewing platform, is there? Oh, there's a train. Slipped on a route. Uh, I think we'll run back. Jesus. I thought someone was there. Well, I can't really go further than that without really hurting myself. So I think we'll call it quits here. Uh, that's a shame. But yeah. There's not much more to see, to be honest. This just goes around a bit more. Apparently there's a viewing platform. But, uh, yeah, can't really go further than that if I'll just show you. A lot of bramble there, and I will probably get really cut up trying to get through there, so it's not really been maintained lately. Yeah, no pot of gold at the end of this. I don't. I doubt it, to be honest. There might be a way around. I'm going down through the bottom, but it might be soggy. Oh, I need Wellington boots. Oh, I might be able to do it on the uh, on the old uh, stones as the tide is out. First, uh, we can carry on. Just don't slip on the seaweed. I'm quite thinking what the hell I'm doing out here. I don't think this has been filmed on YouTube. This is pretty amazing. Yeah, I think this is the end of the path. There is no viewing platform at the end here. Keep going as far as it's safe to do so. Yeah, if it gets muddy, you got to use your common sense. Lucky, it's lots of stones. Yeah, definitely the path has ended here. It's all just uh, a wall. Thought someone's talking to me for a tannoy. Well, I think that's it. We can see on Google Maps where that goes to. And that'll take us back up to the industrial estates up there. I've got a feeling we're being watched, so we are going to head back. So yeah, this is Chesil Bay. That's a bit of an estuary. Shame we didn't see a, a viewing platform. Must have been washed away by the water. I think we'll head on all the way back down there. On the gravel path, it's just easier. 
here. There won't be there'll be certain times of day you can't come along here. This will be underwater. Oh, there's a coconut. There's a coconut that's travelled all the way from the Caribbean or something. I wonder if I'll find a message in a bottle. Someone found a message in a bottle the other day from 1969 or something. And they it was from a Russian captain on a Russian ship. And they uh, managed to contact the original captain who's still alive today through Facebook and he like broke down in tears when he saw his own message in the bottle. It wasn't asking for help or anything, it was just saying he's on board this new boat and everything. And no one found the message until now. It was washed up in Devon or Cornwall. I'll see if I can find a a link to the article and I'll post it on the description. Oh. Nah, we'll keep going until we find that um, polystyrene block and we'll head on up. Oh, there are the goon docks. Isn't that nice? It'd be nice to live there, you can see the river every day. the swing. I head on back to the car. There's only an hour parking so we must be coming up to it now. Has a whiskey bottle. Now I wonder that was drunk here or is it just chucked overboard? Bottled in Scotland. I think that's uh, a local one. <laughs> right, back to the uh, person drilling. You can see that big block, what the heck is that? No idea what that is. Might be some sort of mooring for a boat. That must be what it is. There's a tree growing out of it. Oh, this is a bit sketchy. Oh, shit. This is muddy. Oh my god, I'm gonna sink. Let's get back up here. Don't be stuck in the mud. <laughs> yeah, there's this, uh, in case I get in trouble, it's worth downloading this app. I think it's what three words? And uh, if you tell the emergency services the three words it generates, there's a little string down there. Yeah, if you tell, it'll generate three words for every three meters squared on the planet. And it tells the emergency services exactly where you are. Rather than trying to tell them whereabouts you are, because I think if I got stuck here, um, I'd have trouble trying to describe where I am. So yeah, definitely worth downloading that app, it's free. Have I found that block yet? This is getting really slippery. I think a helicopter have to come and pick me up if I've got in trouble. I've got a spare pair of shoes in the car in case I do get really wet and muddy. It's always worth carrying a spare pair of shoes if you're out and about a lot. Oh, we come up to the coat. I doubt there's anything in the pockets. Someone would have gone through that already. That's probably been blown overboard. Oh, that's a big tree log. Right, we're back here now, so let's get up here. And get out of here. I'm taking all my energy walking through that. Probably a good thing I didn't take my bike. It's worked up a sweat, that one. We're out. I can see the uh, the railings. We'll check the little board again. Oh. 
Oh, it's concrete. No, definitely no viewing platform. I can't believe my shoes are spotless. Incredible. Well, hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you next time.